Hi guys, so last week I said I was going to paint the Matilda um, So this is just going to be a couple of parts as I'm going along as I'm painting it So this is the first part, so I've got the, the colours These are the three colours that are in the leaflet that you get with the Matilda tank So we've got the 977 Desert Yellow The 872 Chocolate Brown And the third coat is the 808 blue green now i'm painting this uh, by hand i'm not using a spray gun this is just so that it's possible to paint this type of stuff without actually using um a spray gun now it does take a while um to stop brush marks as you can see on the top there you can see brush strokes in it um but when it's had a few coats the brush strokes will disappear but to stop that happening see that's had one coat it's, it's, it's had one coat there and this this has had two coats now we're going to need at least three maybe even four um but the reason why basically so what i do is i put the paint on and i put water in it and basically it's almost the consistency of a wash that way as you can see it goes on but you can't see any paintbrush strokes in it and then what i've got to do is i've got to build it up um over the, over several layers to get the full paint color all over so i'm going to carry on doing that now and then once i've got it all this color though i'm happy with it then i'm going to have to try and mask it off and i'm going to try putting the blue green uh stripes or flashings whatever you want to call them on the front and then the chocolate brown ones so i'll uh, get another two coats or so of the desert yellow one and then we'll see how it looks after that okay so i'll carry on doing that now it's probably going to take me an hour or so then we'll come back and we'll see what it looks like hi guys so i'm happy with the uh, desert yellow color on the matilda 2 now and i've started with the blue now on the instruction sheet you get with the Matilda, it tells you to use this um, use this blue green colour. However, when it goes on, it's quite dark. I've got a picture here on the screen of a Matilda two that I'm using for reference. And you can see the colour is is way out. Um, so, but I've got this one, this GW colour, Baroff blue, which is a closer to the colour on the tank on the picture so I'm going to uh, redo the blue part with this now and then what I'll do is I'll put all the blue on the hull and then I'll uh, show you where I'm up to okay guys so I applied this bell off blue to the Matilda uh, I think that looks a lot closer to the uh, blue in the picture uh, I got the front like a triangle I've got the sides however I don't know how the top's finished so I've just done it like that and, and sort of so it comes up and down the back there so I don't know whether that's right or not because I, I can't find a picture with the top on but I'm happy with that for now um so I'm gonna wait for this blue to dry and I'm going to put the brown on but again this brown that it said to use this chocolate brown this chocolate brown that it's said to use in the um in the guide looks um too too dark a brown um i think i'm going to use a different one um and i'm thinking this uh german cam pale browns are a, a closer match to the color so i'm going to use this one instead so uh once this is dry I'll put me German Campbell Brown on and um, I'll come back and show you how it looks. Okay, I've added the brown using the German Camo Pale Brown. And I think that colour suits the camouflage better from the pictures. I've done the turret as well. I'll just stick the turret in there. Yeah, so there you go. That's the Matilda 2 camo scheme done hey guys so nearly done now 
So I've used this uh, model here, metallic black. And I've done the gun barrel, the tracks and the tracks underneath. And I've also done the exhaust ports and the, the exhaust as well underneath there with that. And then I'll give the whole thing a wash with the um, Agrax Air Shade. You know, the wash is dry now. The last thing to do is I've got this, this ice yellow, which you can see is quite a light colour there. Which I'm going to use my dry brush. And I'm going to go over it all with the dry brush. So I'm going to do dry brush it now and then uh, I'll come back when that's done. And we'll see what it looks like after the dry brush. Okay guys, so there we are, all done. I've did the dry brush with the um, mice yellow. And uh, I think it's turned out quite nice. I might just go over the uh, machine gun again with the uh, metallic black. And I've... Uh, Got a bit of dry brushing on the treads as well. Redo them. Uh, apart from that, I'm happy with that. And that's my Matilda 2 done. Ready for North Africa. Uh, I hope you've found this useful. I say really easy, quick way of doing it. I'm not the best painter in the world. I'm sure there's plenty of painters that can do a much better job than this. But if you've never painted the Matilda before... I like to think that I'll just give you a bit of a hand a guide on how to paint them. These uh, stripes, although this one is actually blue, in real life they were grey, silver grey. It just the, the tank museum painted them blue on the tank, but they were actually um, grey or uh, silvery grey on the documentation for the tanks. But I'm quite sure that when they were out in the field, they got bleached by the sun. It has a, a tendency to change the look of colours. That's why the, the British uh, SAS, their uh, jeeps, turned that all pink in the sun and they ended up being called Pink Panthers. But there you go. So thanks very much for watching. And as I, as I said, I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Hey guys, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see and you want to see more, then please hit the subscribe button. If you want to be really, really good and you want to support the channel, then please click on the link and support me through Patreon. Thanks again. See you all next week.